Hello, now I'm reviewing Constantine. The big score, the mother load, the one you've been waiting for. The plot of which is John Constantine is an exorcist and a demon hunter of sorts. Less of a wizard than he is in our comic books, but he's still basically a wizard. Two frogs on a bench. Two frogs on a bench. No, 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 no. I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with the guy you just... John! John! But it starts with someone finding the Spear of Destiny, the spear that killed Jesus. And he immediately gets hit by a car, but he doesn't die because it's cursed or whatever. Then almost immediately the plot basically forgets about the spear. That was a plot tease. Because then it immediately cuts to John Constantine and he's called in by his preacher friend who has like psychic powers or something. He's like saving this possessed girl from a demon in a really cool way. I told you to move it. You're right John, you did tell me to move it, but if you would have told me that it was a 300 pound mirror you were dropping with a pissed off demon, I would have moved it further John. And then there's like this noir mystery going on where John is trying to discover this like secret plot that the demons are trying to bring back the son of Satan or something like that. I, uh, I was born of this! While that's going on, John Constantine is also dying of lung cancer because he smokes like three packs a day. Pete thinks most people never even heard of. And now I'm gonna be done by this. And this woman, like, approaches John Constantine and says her sister killed herself, but she's also like, there's no way she would have killed herself. She must have been possessed by a demon. I thought you said she was murdered. Yeah, well, Isabel wouldn't have taken her own life. Yeah, what kind of mental patient kills herself? That's just crazy. Well, that's essentially the plot. Like, everything else after that is basically Constantine, this girl, and his driver, Chaz, going around and, like, talking to people who are then almost immediately killed right after they talk to them by a demon. Don't fight it, Johnny boy. Enjoy. I know this movie didn't really do that well in theaters, but it developed a cult following after that. And this movie has a lot of fans nowadays, but at the time, I know, it wasn't like a huge thing or anything. Which is kind of unfortunate because I think it was a fairly entertaining movie, even if it was a bit schlocky and had way too much exposition throughout the whole thing. But it was like a gritty noir action horror movie with angels, demons, and wizards. So, I'm completely on board. But seriously, this movie is like The Exorcist. If it was made more like a generic action movie from the 80s or 90s. Like at one point, Keanu Reeves is using like a holy shotgun because it's a shotgun that's like in the shape of a cross. It's like that level of like ridiculousness, but it still makes a pretty good demon superhero movie of sorts. You see them. They see you. Understand. I do think this is a good movie, but it also has a lot of problems as well. The biggest of which is probably just that there's too much exposition in basically every single scene. And you're going to go to hell because of the life you took. You're fucked. Even like the devil shows up at one point and even he starts explaining things too much. You're the one soul that would come up here to collect myself. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. But this is like way too much exposition. They're like show don't tell. And by the time it gets to the end of the movie, it like really has to win me back with its finale. Which is impressive. It does win me back. Like the finale is the best part of the movie, I think. Because everything comes to a head. All that exposition finally makes sense. There's one big reveal after another and then everything explodes and it's awesome. Also, I've heard this is now getting a sequel, which I think is weird because basically everyone in this movie dies. Even John Constantine dies. He's then brought back to life, but he does die. Which I think is a complaint. Everyone dies. Another complaint I have is just how dry everything is. Like, the acting is really dry. Constantine, what? Twins. Jesus. <laughs> what? You were twins. And, like, in the comics, John Constantine is, like, a very exciting person who's always, like, cracking jokes and never really takes anything too seriously. But this whole movie is, like, takes itself too seriously. And I would say that's actually a problem. For the most part. It's not, like, a huge problem. Like, I think it works as a drama. But there's just, like, a lot of section of this movie that I feel like you could practically cut out because my brain just cuts them out already because that's how boring they are. Welcome to my life. 
but the good in this movie far outweighs the bad. And I think, like, combining horror and action like it does in this movie, the horror stuff, like, uh, it actually is kind of scary. There's one part where, like, someone has flies in his eyes. That's probably why he couldn't see them. Just, like, that one shot I thought was, like, really cool. I know you've never had much faith. <laughs> you've never had much reason to, but that doesn't mean that we don't have faith in you. And I really like the noir bits too. Like the mystery itself, even though like the exposition is pretty boring, but the mystery itself I think is actually fairly interesting. And there's one or two twists that I didn't see coming and took me by surprise. I really believe she wouldn't commit suicide. Never in a million years. Well, let's be sure. Let's see if she's in hell. But overall, I would say this is a pretty good movie. It's not great. It's definitely a cult movie. It definitely has a cult appeal. And that it's like, I feel like it's kind of on the fringe of any genre. It like kind of just barely uses it. It's not really a superhero movie. It's not really a horror movie. It's not really an action movie. It's not really a drama. It's not really a exorcism movie either. You know, it's not really any of these movies. It's kind of just an amalgamation of all of them to make something all its own that doesn't always work, but I think is still a fairly entertaining flick. <laughs> Truthfully, I would probably recommend this to anyone who likes noir movies. Because I feel like that's probably the genre that most stands out to me. Like, this is definitely a noir movie. With a noir mystery, even though it involves angels and demons. I'd also recommend this to horror fans, or like people who are fans of Keanu Reeves movies. I probably wouldn't recommend this to die-hard John Constantine fans, because Keanu Reeves is not John Constantine. He's kind of the Keanu Reeves version of John Constantine, I guess. He's John Constantine who's very dry and serious and not English and uh, not John Constantine in any way. May I take your coat, Mr. Constantine? No, thanks. I'm not going to stay. And actually, I think I would recommend this to teenagers more than adults. There's a lot of things in the movie that I think teenagers would probably appreciate more than adults. Some of the horror stuff, some of the action-y stuff. I don't know, I'm kind of just rambling. I will sign off. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I don't know. I'm going to end it.